Hi everyone, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. This time I wanted to do something different, something new. I wanted to go to my local mall, which is right near a university campus and I love making videos there. So I picked up a little hot chocolate and I went for a walk through the university campus. And it was so nice just to be out in the sun, just to be surrounded by all these young people who are excited about their future. You know, it's a very different energy and um, I'm going to call this video something like New Moon Energies, but you can watch this anytime. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to myself now for another intro and you can go ahead and, and pick your reading. Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. We are in a new location today. We're at a nearby university campus and I like coming here sometimes. Sometimes I'll bring a stack of books in my laptop and I'll do a bit of work from here if I just feel like having a change of scene. And I sure felt like that today. So what I'll do is I'll show you what it's like here. I might do that now while I'm talking um, and just edit it and figure it out I don't know because I'm set up on the tripod so I don't want to mess up the shot that I've got set up here but anyway I'll show you the scenery I'll show you where we are it's it's just somewhere different somewhere nice as soon as I sat down it's kind of annoying these dudes just started playing basketball so you're probably gonna hear some basketball noises in the background it's okay I think it adds to the atmosphere you know we're somewhere different change of scene change of energy let's shake it up a bit because when things start to look the same in all the thumbnails i don't like that i want it to look visually different all the time or as much as possible and since i've got the time and the energy i thought yeah why don't i come out today i also picked up for myself a little max brenner um hot chocolate you can see that there max brenner he's the bald man <laughs> he has it's a chain. He's got, he's got lots of these. I've been to two or three of them here, I think in Sydney. I've been to one in Brisbane, one in New York. So it's quite popular. And I thought I'd pick up a little hot chocolate. I love the little heart there. It's very sweet. All right. Well, you know the drill, guys. Um, choose between group one, group two, or group three. And I will see you in your reading. Hi there group number one if you chose group number one you are in the right place let's take a look at your cards let's see what you have drawn through so the first card you've got is adjacent possibilities all right that's quite interesting now as with all of my readings take on board what resonates discard what doesn't use your intuition as we go see what symbolism is here you know have you have you been just wanting to go in one direction could you be doing something else all that kind of thing so see what comes for you all right what else do we have here we have got the tarot we have got the three of swords upright i have no idea how i'm going to arrange these I'm going to figure it out as we go the hanged one okay I think I'm going to do it like this. There we go. Oh, I see. For my hand-drawn Vedic cards, we have got Rahu in the 11th house. Because of the new moon, I thought, why don't we work with Rahu energy? Why don't we work with this line? You know, we've got this uh, new moon eclipse thing going on. We're going to have a solar eclipse coming up as well. Hang on, I think I want to have this at the top. I'm just getting getting organized here <laughs> all right you got the six of now I'm going to call this the six of swords six of spades and you've also got Algarfa it says here realization and desires if abundance is what you seek your ambition must stream like a waterfall okay so what do we have going on here well the obvious thing 
is to say, and I'm going to read this to be, I'm kind of looking at the new moon because I drew these cards on the Tuesday night and I did not look at them. And I drew your, and then I looked at them this morning, came out here today. I've got your song lyric here. So I have no idea what's in that. So we're going to open that up in a bit. When I looked at these briefly this morning, I definitely got a vibe that for some of you, this will be heartbreak. This will be actual heartbreak. Perhaps you've um, gone through something a bit tough in your relationship recently. It's an ending. It's an ending of some kind. You have gone through, and I think that's this week, really. We're looking at this week or whenever it is that you tune into this. It's fresh. And interesting. We had a scream at that exact moment. There are these guys playing basketball over there. Hmm. So, yeah, I think you might have gone through something in this, this, in this past week, in this recent time. If it's not heartbreak, it's the closure of a cycle. You have ended a cycle. You have come to the end of something. Something is closing out, something is clearing out. It could be an old heartbreak, old energy has resurfaced again, or it is just ready to be cleared, basically. That's, that's all this is. That's confirmed by the appearance of this card, which is the Six of Swords in traditional tarot. This is the card of moving away. This is the card where, you know, if we had a traditional deck, it would have uh, a lady, I think it's a lady and her son and, and they're on a kind of gondola and they're actually sailing away. They're moving on. So there's very much some moving on energy. You're moving something on, you're closing something out and a new door is opening. Okay. And it could be something to do with your work as well. Uh, we can see that here. These could be more to do with work. This I feel is definitely to do with heartbreak or your heart, matters of the heart. This is kind of just saying, stay where you are. Um, yes, you're moving on, you're moving forward, but you might need to be still for a little while and just allow the energies to process. Just allow, allow this time, you know, in, in its fullness kind of thing. But you've got a new door opening up and this is really exciting. And as I was saying earlier, I mean, yeah, this could be, you know, you're focused just on that one door or that one option or that one thing but what if something out of nowhere just came to you or a new door opened or you know just something out of nowhere right just you're not expecting it be on the lookout for something totally unexpected you might be thinking one way something else might come in here so there's some excitement definitely being offered by this card. The potential for something new. We've got Rahu in the 11th. And this card here, this is Libra, right? And it's saying, if abundance is what you seek, your ambition, you must, your ambition must stream like a waterfall. Okay, that is interesting. What I'm going to take from this is that it's a good time. And, and we've got Ketu here in, in the 5th house. Look at that. You know, this, this isn't really indicating any great romance uh, happening anytime soon okay because you're either processing something healing from something something has just left or stopped working or there's a pause as well you're moving on okay so this house is a little bit not really uh, in action this is though you're being asked to create your wealth you're being asked to create your abundance you're being asked to go for it you're being asked to you know and that's an air house libra right this is an air house too you're being asked to use your mind and get out of the heart okay let the heart heal let the heart clear and, and regenerate uh, as it needs to at this time let's take a look at what song lyric i have for you group number one so I'm going to open this up here I have no idea what this is 
there has to be an element of surprise in these I have decided so that is why I do this oh wow claim my name from the lost and found and let me believe this is where I belong wow my traveling star James Taylor this is a really lovely song and it is it's not really about heartbreak this song it's about from what I remember it's about a man who kind of he can't he can't be with someone else yet he can't be alone it's that kind of one seven dilemma uh, that this song is very much about and that could be connecting in with this if there's some heartbreak if there's some feeling of um, of you know some feeling of gosh I thought I belonged with that person but it it turns out I don't you know let this heal if, if you're going through something like this and my advice would be to move on my advice would be to be still allow the feelings to be there concentrate on abundance concentrate on creating wealth concentrate on uh, using your mind to create that next chapter of your life and look at that I mean you've manifested a new beginning 100% right it's I'm just gonna put that there so it doesn't fly away um, you have manifested some kind of new beginning it's here for you but take your time there's no rush guys that is my reading for group number one I hope this has been a good reading for you guys I hope you like the different energy and the different atmosphere that we're in today I like to challenge myself as well <laughs> I like to be somewhere different and um, whoa okay these are flying I know I'm gonna put that there yeah I like to I like to challenge myself I think I think that is what I like to do I like to be in, in, in a strange environment and a noisy one as well <laughs> all right well thank you so much for tuning in group number one and leave me a comment below let me know how you get on with this or drop a like or something along those lines that's really helpful and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place let's take a look at your cards let's see what you've pulled through this time now as with any of my readings take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't okay what a great start fifth chakra Archangel Gabriel yes the messenger Archangel fantastic that is beautiful and of course fifth chakra there very much lit up in the card and of course use your intuition as we go see what messages or signs or something pops into your mind you guys are very very intuitive I must say and you know there's no hard or fast rules here there's no right or wrong there's no you know this is a creative intuitive explorative time okay wow the nine of swords huh okay that is a full-on card <laughs> um, let's see what comes next I did look at these earlier today it's coming back to me slowly as I go through them now I looked very briefly eight of wands okay good that's a good card mind you that's not so bad <laughs> all right let's take a look we've got Rahu in the tenth house I'm working with the Rahu Ketu axis with my hand-drawn cards uh, today because we've had the new moon the new moon eclipse just recently so I thought let's work with good old Rahu we have got whoops keep knocking the camera we've got the king of swords there is definitely a sword depicted there the queen the king of spades I should say in a traditional deck playing deck king of spades king of swords okay it's a great card not so great in a love reading if you're a lady but anyway <laughs> um Aldebaran these names of these fixed stars in this deck they always remind me of Star Wars I don't know why but it just it really does okay now it says the Pleiades 
and that's the symbol for Gemini there so let's see it says life is a magical experience become the muse of your own verses how fantastic your own verses and look I mean that is definitely linking in here with Archangel Gabriel who's asking you to speak and we've got the King of Swords here who is absolutely brilliant at well at thinking but at communicating at speaking at being incredibly sharp sharp-witted you know sharp mind shrewd as well we've got the 10th house here so I do think that this is something to do with career if you've got something going on more with love you might want to check in with group number one but if you're here and you do have some work stuff going on you're definitely in the right place so the only slightly worrying or troubling card really is this one and it's the nine of swords it's not one of the better cards in the deck what happens here is that you have thoughts that circle in the mind kind of on repeat and it's the kind of stuff that can keep you up at night if you've been having any sleepless nights there could be just something going on in the background there but it does feel like there is something troubling you and I do think that this is in regards to work uh, this is definitely a work spread and the overall main message of what's going on here really it is to do with work and it, but it is very much to do with you speaking up you have to speak up okay that's clear as day you know you, you've got to speak there's something that's really asking you to speak this card might be coming in to say draw some boundaries draw a line in the sand where you have to yes is yes no is no be clear about it we've got this here which is actually very beautiful I read the book for this one the guidebook for this one this morning because I, I drew these earlier and I studied them a little bit today and this is a gorgeous card because it's Gemini energy and it's kind of asking you to tap into your inner magic and interesting we've got a bird chirping at this there's yeah you're being encouraged to speak in a way that yes it's sharp and it's on point and it's direct and you know you're saying what you have to say you're being asked to do it with a bit of style with a bit of magic with a bit of something of you okay and that is so important because I know that a lot of my viewers are very sensitive kind people and you're not the kind of people to be this big Mr. Boss man you know sharp shrewd uh, kind of uh, player you're not uh, you're not that you're you're probably more on the creative side um, yeah more more intuitive and more definitely more Gemini more fun you know there's something I don't know there's something about maybe bringing some more light-heartedness to your workplace as well that could be another thing that's so interesting that as I've been talking about these things what's been happening around me is they've been like yeah some people going in and out of this building by my side but chatting in a nice way like it's been good do you know I quite like doing these outside because it is kind of cool to see what the outside world bounces back like I think in group one while the basketball dudes were playing one of them screamed and I, that was when I was talking about the three of swords or whatever it was it was so perfect but for you guys it really is it really is about communicate speak up draw the boundaries be clear so that you can sleep soundly at night if you haven't been sleeping so well Hmm, another screen there um, and this is coming in to say that there's gonna be change things will transform if you speak up I, I feel like you need to speak and then the transformation will be rapid okay it's pretty simple this spread uh, it's a good one let's have a look at what song you've got now I just picked this out of the jar I didn't bring the jar unfortunately so I just picked it I have no idea what's in here so let's see what comes there has to be an element of surprise in these readings <laughs> I like for there to be oh wow interesting 
oh, I like this for this spread. Why don't you stop and think it over? Am I the same girl who knew your soul? Am I the same girl? Yeah, swing out, sister. This is sung by so many different people, but uh, the one that I just happened to be listening to was Swing Out Sister, and I really like that for this spread because... Because you can have this charming... There's a charming playfulness about this song, the way that it's sung, and she's kind of like... Why don't you stop and think it over? Am, am I the same girl you used to know? That's, that's one of the lyrics as well. And I think, yeah, one of the later lyrics is, I, am I the same girl who knew your soul? But it's like, am I the same girl? And it's like, no. No, you're not. People might be, th this is the thing. It, well, so the, the charm and the lightheartedness of this song is exactly the magic of this card Gemini that's kind of what's happening here but but if you do this if you stand up for yourself if you draw the boundary if you you know people might be a little bit whoa she doesn't usually do this or you know <laughs> like at, at your workplace for example if this is a work thing and you have to stand up for yourself or something people might be like hang on a minute we're not used to this. We're not used to you drawing boundaries. And that's what always happens, isn't it? When you draw a boundary, people are a bit like, hang on a minute. What, what happened to that, that nice, you know, what happened to that? Well, I'm, I'm drawing something out of my own life here. I mean, gosh, there, there have been times, especially when I was young, you know, you're in your early 20s in your career, you're doing your thing. And, and yeah, you, you, you can fall into these people pleaser type things. And the moment you start standing up for yourself, people can be a little bit taken aback or annoyed or, geez, who are you? Or, you know, they, there can be some pushback, there can be some heat. But I think the guidance here is don't be the same. Do something different. Do something different and it's going to involve communication. And if you do it, you're going to experience rapid change. Because here there's a slowness uh, this can also be its air, it can be Saturnian, you might be stuck as well. So there might be a stuckness, there might be delay. And this involves communication. Bit of communication, you can get the movement happening back in your life again. So group number, what are we on here? Two, group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this was a good one for you. I hope you enjoy being somewhere a bit different this time. I'm certainly enjoying it. And let me know in the comments below how you get on with this reading. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, you are in the right place. Let's see what cards you have drawn through this time. Now, as with all of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. That is a gorgeous card to start with. Well done, Group 3, for choosing this. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's like a new door. Well, is it a new door? Or is it a door that's been closed that you've been hoping would open? Well, I'm telling you now, it has opened for you. There's a rainbow there. Wow, is that a dove? Got lilies. That is incredible. There's a peacock. Wow. Okay. Got butterflies. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. <laughs> so, well done, group three. <laughs> the cheesy. I think I'm trying to remember which cards. Oh, yes, I remember. Okay. Let's go through these one by one. I saw them briefly this morning. Ace of Swords in the reverse position. Six of Swords. So interesting because this came up in group one as well. Although it came up in the kind of regular playing cards thing. Oh, how lovely. Rahu in the 12th. Yes, that's good. Love a bit of Rahu in the 12th. Mind you, if you're Martha Stewart, you might not love it so much. <laughs> Poor thing. I think that might have been partly the thing that landed her in jail for a little while. But I mean... 
think about it, that's a bit of time out. <laughs> Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Maybe she needed time out. Maybe that was the only way she was going to get it. Uh, five of, whoops. Okay. Let's not drop the cards. Right. Five of diamonds, which would be five of pentacles. Okay. And then we've got this lovely card here, which is Aldira. Glorification and invocation. Success is determined by your mindset. Treat your journey with patience. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So what do we have going on here? I did look at this briefly earlier and what were some of my original impressions? Well, firstly, what, what are these cards? So, I mean, obviously that's fantastic. This is the five of pentacles, really. And... The Five of Pentacles in traditional tarot is all about being left out in the cold. It can also be about not drawing attention to your weaknesses. Isn't that interesting? That's a new interpretation I heard recently and I thought that was a really, really good way to look at this card. It's, it's traditional meaning though as being left out in the cold. This is the card of moving on. This is a card, you're leaving something behind, you're moving on, you're ready. You are so ready to move on from something in your life. It could be a dynamic, a pattern, a relationship, some type of work. But it could very much, I, I kind of feel like it's something within yourself. It's something within yourself that you're like, you know what, I don't want to do that anymore. And it's like, and it could be something like, I don't want to put myself down anymore. Or I don't want to be so hard on myself anymore. I'm not getting a strong love vibe, I will say, from this spread. If something has happened in your love life, you might want to look at group number one. And group number two had a kind of a work feel to it. To me, and I think group three is always very, very spiritual. So I kind of feel this is to do with your inner work. And I kind of feel that this is, you're moving on from something inside. And it could be that you're moving on. You could be moving on from lack and limitation. You could be moving on from, from lack consciousness. From just thinking you don't have enough. And you might be like, do you know what? I want to feel abundant all the time. I want to, I want to think like this. I want to just be easy about life. I just want to go about my life. And be easy about it and feel abundant and that's really just about feeling more gratitude you know and I think this could be about feeling more because this is in reverse you don't need to think so much you know I think my did we have this last time did, did we have you thinking a lot last time there was a group last time that was thinking overthinking it might have been you guys, I can't remember. But this spread is very much about moving on from some old pattern that has to do with lack and limitation. This is about you moving into, and this is all about moving into calmer waters as well. Moving into more abundance mentality and mindset. We also got uh, Gemini to Cancer here. Success is determined by your mindset. Treat your journey with patience. Yeah, and this mindset thing, I think you're okay on the mindset thing, but I feel like maybe you need to, like you'll generate the magnetism power by, instead of thinking, by feeling and feeling grateful. And when you're feeling really grateful, that is when you will just draw to you the things that are of that like vibration. So I think that's really the exercise. And what's also being asked of you is to take a bit of time out, to isolate yourself, to have some time out. Uh, is there somewhere different you can go? Like me today, I was just like, do you know what? I have to go somewhere and <laughs> there aren't many places I can go. I can't get on a plane anymore or you know I I'm limited in where I can go <clears throat> but um 
But I thought, you know what, I'll come here today and I'll just pretend I'm on holiday. And that's what Abraham Hicks used to do. Abraham Hicks, I don't know if you've ever listened to them. It's Esther Hicks and Jerry Hicks, I think. They were this couple. And they would channel this... Um, kind of teaching collective I guess you could call it these energies and one of the things they would do <clears throat> and I feel like someone in this group needs to do this they would just go to some place where they haven't been for a while like a different mall or something like that and they would each buy a coke coca-cola and they'll just you know clink coke cans and or glasses or whatever and they'll be like we're on holiday and then for that two hours or three hours they will pretend that they're in a foreign country I love that idea that's kind of what I'm doing now I've got my little hot chocolate here and I'm like okay right today for the next two three hours I am and just pretend pretend you're somewhere and look I've got these guys playing basketball over there maybe I'm in America right now you know I can't fly there but I can certainly just escape this is a bit of escapism you kind of there's something about you escaping feeling amazing regardless of what's going on in your life and it's like that feeling the amazing feelings are what's going to power you up magnetize bring in the good stuff and it's going to be good like yeah, yeah it just feels like you need a bit of a bit of time where you're doing something a bit different okay let's see what song lyrics have come through for you Oh wow, how interesting. Oh, this is very appropriate. I love this for you guys. This is a good one. But what a fool believes, he sees. The wise man has the power to reason away. What seems to be is always better than nothing. What a fool believes. And you know, this is very much this line. What a, what a fool believes, he sees. The wise man has the power to reason away. And look at that. This is in reverse. It's kind of like, you know, so yes, you have to have the right mindset. I feel like you do. Again, I keep coming back to that. You've got the right mindset, but it's like you just got to park the mind thing and that you have to park the fact that you want to see results now because maybe you, you really want to see results. You want to convince yourself, but it's like, no, park that because what seems to be is always better than nothing and and you know it's this fantasy thing it's like go and be in the fantasy pretend generate the good feelings you know and you'll see things will manifest around you this is a great song yeah the wise man has a, i mean this this song is actually pro reason okay and i'm kind of saying the opposite aren't i i'm kind of saying put reason down and have a little bit of fantasy and feel sensational what seems to be is always better than nothing and that I mean there's a sadness in that line there isn't there yeah it's there's a lot in this song there's a huge amount but what it does is it gets you in this realm you know it, it really does and I mean look some of the sadness of this song is really representing this the, the feeling left out in the cold bit you know and that's illusion feeling left out in the cold because the warmth that spark of light that is within you that's within you're always warm regardless of what's going on on the outside you know Oh, how interesting. Gosh, I, I feel like you know, we, could, we could chat about this song for ages, but we're at the 10 minute mark and I do have to crack on and get on with my day. And I also have to edit this and get it out to you guys. So, and I've got so much on at the moment. So really busy with readings. Thank you so much to everybody who's booking me. It's just absolutely fantastic. You really keep me really busy and I'm loving it. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, but yeah, I hope this has been a good reading. I hope it's just like brought to the surface some thoughts that, are good to think about for now you know that's all these are they're just little mirrors in which you can reflect upon your own life in a slightly different way so i hope this has been a good reading for you let me know in the comments below how you got on and i hope to get back to you as soon as i can but um, thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time